Hey there, hello. Welcome back. It's time for another devotion. I, uh, I'm back at the house today, so here we are. Uh, it's beautiful outside today, so I thought I'd record outside. Question for you, though, what was the first thing you would do if you were in charge, just for a little bit? What's the first thing you would do? So the reason I'm asking that question is because today, uh, today our text is we're following along. So uh, yesterday we were talking about uh, Jesus riding into town on a donkey, but today uh, we're, we're talking more about the next thing. So Jesus rides into town and what's the first thing he does? Well, he goes to the temple and he casts out all these money changers, all these folks who are making a profit out of people changing money to buy sacrifices. So he casts out all these little small business tables and stuff, gets them out of there, and then he invites in all the poor and he heals them. And then he preaches. That's what Jesus does first. He's back into town. Everybody thinks this guy should be in charge. And what does he do? He casts out folks making an unfair profit. And then he goes ahead and he, uh, he invites in the poor, those who can least affect the changes they need to affect. Now, I am just wondering about all this. What would happen right now in our culture if those who had the least amount of power to affect the change going on in their lives, what would happen if Jesus showed up to take care of them? Would we have already been doing the work? I don't know. It's a good question. Anyway, take a look. We're at uh, Matthew chapter 21. Now our verse 12 going on from there. Uh, and you'll get some preaching. You'll see Jesus flip some tables. And uh, pretty soon, uh, within the week, he will be arrested. On Sunday, we have the full passion story, so you'll want to take a look at that. I won't have much to preach about it. That kind of preaches itself. There isn't more to say, but to today at least. Who are the least? Who are the lost? Who are the lonely? Who are the folks that Jesus would have invited into the temple today? Can we invite them in somehow? Can we care for them? Can we give them a phone call? Can we send them a message? Can we provide or donate? I don't know, but it's a good thought for us today as we think about what happens next after Jesus comes in to the temple. Christ, peace to you today. I hope it's a, a good day for you. Keep in touch if you need pastoral care or other things. Otherwise, Christ, peace. We'll see you later, and we'll have another one of these for you tomorrow.